afternoon and welcome to your prayer chapel pick me up. I'm Pastor Lisa Burbank coming to you from Lutheran Church of the Cross in St. Petersburg, Florida, and I'm so glad that you're with us today. A few years ago, my sister-in-law gave me a gag gift for Christmas. It was a dish towel that said, Lord, keep one hand on my shoulder and the other over my mouth. As funny as that is, it's actually really good advice, too, because if there is one part of our body that will get us into more trouble than any other part, it has to be the mouth. Words are powerful. They can be used to encourage someone who is down, to instruct children, or to share good news. But they can also be used to cut down someone in a disagreement, to spread gossip, and to deliver false information. We know this is all too true in our age of fake news and politicians who are, well, less than polite in what they say about people. But this is not at all a new phenomenon. There is a book in the New Testament called James, and in it, the writer offers lots of practical advice for living, both in ancient times and in our own world today. Listen to what he has to say about the power of words, which he calls the tongue. No one can tame the tongue, James says, calling it a restless evil full of deadly poison. I don't know about you, but I find it disturbingly easy to say things I later regret. Sometimes it's because I'm just not well enough informed, but most of the time it's because I've let my guard down and given in to the temptation to say the first thing that comes to my mind. That's almost always a bad idea, you know. Do you find yourself feeling regret over something that you've said? Well, just as the tongue can indeed be a restless evil full of deadly poison, did you know it can also be used quite effectively to admit you were wrong, apologize, and ask for forgiveness? So next time you're tempted to let fly with something you know you shouldn't say, try to take a moment, maybe count to ten, and see if you can stop yourself. And if that doesn't work, use that tongue of yours to try to make things right, and then forgive yourself for being the imperfect yet immensely beloved child of God that you are. So will you pray with me now? Dear Lord, I do indeed need your hand on my shoulder to encourage me, as well as your hand over my mouth to help me to only say things that are beneficial. I'm sorry for the times I've messed up and said something I regret. Please forgive me and help me to make my words pleasing to you. Amen. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again next time.